The, uh, another thing about it is, is math and the kind of math we need to do this. I don't use a computer. I don't have a computer. Uh, I really was doing great math. I was, I remember 7 times 7 was 41 and 9 times 9 is 81 and, you know, 12 times 12 I think it was 144. So it was some big number. I got that one down cold. I said, this is great. I love this stuff. And the barge left St. Louis going at 8 miles an hour and the train left Pittsburgh and, ha, huh, this stuff is easy. I remember one day, I think it was ninth grade, it was a grim day, somebody introduced cosine. God, that day, I mean, remember cosine? I mean, is, has anybody used cosine the last couple of years? I mean, did, 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 no. the, uh, let's have a show of hands. How many of you have used cosine the last six months? But I, I remember tangent and cotangent. Why would you want to know about tangent? And then remember the area under the curve? I mean, remember that crazy your calculus area under the curve? I mean, what the hell would you want to measure an area under the curve for? You know, the, uh, I mean, that is such garbage. You know, you don't need this for the stock market. If you, can measure, if you can add 8 and 8 and get fairly close to 16, <laughs> that's all you need. You know, you say 400 million in debt, no equity, no cash, losing money, forget it. You know, they get 300 million in cash, no debt, 200 million in net worth, they're losing 10 million a quarter, but they'll be around. That's all you need. You have to get, that's all you need. That does, is not that hard. If you made it through fifth grade math, you can handle this stuff. And I had a, a roommate in the Army, and uh, it, uh, it's a story I always remember. He, he was, was talking about, he went to this very good school in, uh, in the South that I won't tell you the name of it, but it's in Atlanta, and it rhymes with Roger Reck. The, uh, <laughs> and they had this, uh, my hero uh, at the school uh, was a very good football player. This is, this, is, this is my friend, my roommate, telling me the story about this guy. He was a freshman at this great school. And he'd go to the line of scrimmage, and they'd change the play. He couldn't figure this out. You know, I don't know if you realize how complicated football is. Half the plays are changed in the line of scrimmage. It's about 300 plays. You go there, think it's a run to the right. It turns out it's a screen pass to the left, or it's a draw. It's, all the blocking assignments have changed. All the passing's different. You, can do, you have to instantly think, uh-oh, New play, what do I do in this new play? Just like that, and do it. He could not handle these deals. He says, give me the ball, I'll tote it. And he'd go for about eight yards. He was really good at this. <laughs> now, this is not why he's my hero. The reason he's my hero, in a, in a classroom about this size, his freshman year, he asked the question, does X always equal seven? <laughs> the, uh, now, he, he never made it to the second semester. He never. He never made it to the varsity, he never made the NFL because he, that damn X, he never could figure out X, you know. The, uh, and I always thought at the UN they could, re they could resolve what the hell X equaled. You know, they could say, if it's 247 and a quarter, you know, they just finally resolved what X was, we could save all this time and do something useful, you know. You don't need it in the stock market. But, uh,